The reason I chose to serve my country was basically the culmination of a life that was geared towards doing something more, that was doing something adventurous and that would push me. So I sought a career field out that would accomplish all those things, and here I am today. Combat control has been a great fit for me as a special tactics operator in general. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm, I'm where I'm meant to be because we truly are the quiet professionals. Combat controllers are special tactics operators that get to do all the exact same qualifications as the Navy SEALs, as the Green Berets, as Army Rangers. Whether you're shooting at the range with your teammates, whether you're jumping out of an airplane on a flight line, whether you're rucking through the mountains up in Montana, you can find yourself in a plethora of situations that truly go beyond what you think the Air Force does. On the back of my kit, I have a flag that's rolled and attached to my body armor. It has been with me since my very first day on a special tactics team. For special tactics operators, it's something special that we do to signify that we're protected by our country at the exact same time while we're serving and defending our country. This past year, I had the opportunity to deploy to Afghanistan and embed into an Afghan special operations unit along with a special forces army team. Part of our mission was to break up Taliban forces in Northwest Afghanistan. We encountered a fighting force that I had not fathomed prior to that day. We encountered substantial roadblocks inlaid with IEDs. A close quarter ambush was initiated on both flanks of the convoy. The sound of the gunfire was overwhelming at times because it sounded like just 360 degrees around you, there was constant gunfire uh, going out, coming in from every direction. And it took the full measure of each individual on the battlefield that day to work as a team and to hold back enemy forces that were trying to overrun us. I'm incredibly grateful that I was in the position I was to have the effects that I did on the battlefield and to ensure that Every single person made it home alive to their family members. It's completely due to a, an unbelievable team effort. The men and women that I get to serve along with each and every day in the special tactics community and at the Air Force at large, I can say it, it's an honor to serve next to those people. You share that camaraderie with your teammates, with the teams that you support, the teams that you attach to, the other nations that you work with is something that you can't put into words, but you feel it. So for the man and the woman standing next to me, what it boils down to is that I'd be willing to stand next to you in the best of moments and in the darkest of moments.